Hey, what's up guys? It's Nightwing2303 from wearetesters.com. Today I have a unusual video for me. Um, this is just going to be kind of like a pickups, a uh, little bit of storytelling, uh, some shout outs, uh, not to people individual, but like to where like these all came from. And um, that's pretty much it. So if you like these kind of like random like videos, then this is probably going to be a good one for you. So first place that I want to thank is Sunlight Stations. This is where I get a lot of the Way of Wade shoes. Um, they sent this ball over to me, this Li Ning basketball. Um, it's a Wade ball. It says Wade right here. It's got the number three, which I like, not because it's Wade number, Wade's number, but because it's my number. And um, it's a regulation size ball. Feels good. It's like got that tacky kind of grip, which is great for shooters and um, all that stuff and ball handlers alike as well. I know that ball handlers like a little bit of, of like stickiness underneath their hand because they can really feel what they're going to be doing with the ball, you know, whip it out, bring it back, all that kind of good stuff. So, um, but yeah, so this is a really dope ball. Uh, I believe they can, like you can buy the ball if you're a leading fan um, or a Wade fan and all that stuff and you just want to grab a ball, then, you know, they have them. But um, they are a Australian-based retailer of leaning merchandise and they have like excellent customer service nothing but great things about them um, from my experience and from wherever i've seen that uh, other people experiencing the same thing which is great so um first thank you thank you to you guys sunlight stations you guys are awesome uh, this is dope and if you guys go and make a purchase over there and when you're done checking out there's going to be a comment or instruction box put nightwing 2303 in that um, and then they're going to send, like they said that they'd just send the people that do that, uh, free random stuff. Like I've gotten some weird stuff. I've gotten this, I've gotten a leaning hat, uh, leaning cargo shorts, uh, um, socks, uh, all kinds of weird stuff. So I think it's cool. The Jersey and short setup that I got with another thing, like they, they just send some really dope stuff. So, um, if you're into that, go ahead and check them out. Second shout out sneaker street, big thank you. For sending these over he sent over three cases these are for the iphone 5 and 5s i actually have one on my phone right now which is the royal colorway because it's a nightwing colorway and then you have the two chicago colorways the home and away um this one i've already given away to a friend of mine that's local here but this one the chicago one if you have a 5 or 5s i'm going to give it to somebody in the comments um, of this video so uh, this is from Sneaker Street. If you're interested in just getting anything on your own, I'll leave uh, links in the description, sorry, and um, all that stuff. And then stay tuned a little bit for uh, if you want to try to win this guy here. Next shout out is kind of to myself, but not really. Um, it is to Rope Lace Supply. I'm going to be working with them to do a collaborative release. And these are a bunch of samples. Um, I have about 30 pairs. I gave two out already. I'm going to be giving a few more out locally and all that stuff, and then I'll figure out a way to give the rest of them out uh, via online, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is, and all that stuff. But um, I'll give you a close-up look at them real quick. But this is them. They're just white and black rope laces, and they have the uh, the Wear Testers logo on the aglet. I replaced the laces that came stuck on these 29s with... Uh, with these guys here so there you go it's got the wear testers logo which you can see back there and it also says wear testers down there which i'm not going to be able to make out in this video but um for those of you guys that watch these things like these videos on like big ass tvs and stuff like you might be able to see it but um the rope laces is what they look like in the shoe they're 51 inches this one i don't know what i'm going to be ordering for sure but so far i, I like them they're really nice tough laces and um, whether you're hooping in them or just wearing them casually, I think they're pretty cool. Plus, they got that Word Testers logo on there. So it's going to be dope. Stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know when, like, everything's going to be made official official. But like I said, I got, like, 30 pairs that I can just give away. And um, I'm going to be doing that shortly. All right. So Create Ink Studio. Um, their Instagram is going to be in the comment, or not comment, but description box below. Um, I grabbed this shirt. He created this shirt here i'm a huge comic book fan so um this to me was just like i had to have it man i saw this picture first um like after he drew it and he posted it up on instagram and i was like yo that's sick and then he ended up making a t-shirt uh for it and i bought it it was 14 dollars, like 20 dollars shipped i mean that's ridiculously cheap dude like it's nice it's a nice lightweight kind of cotton not super lightweight but lightweight enough um 
It's from this place, T Public. I, don't, I never heard of that. It's kind of like, uh, it says pre-shrunk, 100% cotton and all that stuff. But uh, it's a screen like printed on there. And um, it's just a mashup. Uh, Sneeds or Tyree, the guy that makes Sneeds. Uh, is that how to say it? Sneeds or Sneds? Sneakerheads? Sned? Yeah, I guess it's Sned. But he left a comment on the picture of this uh, shirt that I left earlier on Instagram and he said, What the X Men? And I thought that was pretty cool because that's basically what it is. Um, so, what I'm going to do is if, uh, if you want this, this uh, iPhone case, this Chicago one, the first person to leave a comment in the comment box below all of the characters that this shirt makes up then the first person with the correct answer is going to win that case so I'll contact you and then get your address and all that stuff here's a close-up look this is all you guys are getting first person to comment all the characters in this look carefully because everybody that I see leaving comments misses one gets that case all right guys so the last thing is this uh new place is i got a sweet pair of sneakers that i think are sweet um but it's called uh they're called endangered um they're in pasadena uh you know the la area this is one of their shirts uh that's their address um, i'm going to leave their this is not their address address but that's the number to their store um like the store number on the address whatever but if you're interested uh they're Stuff is going to be in the description box below. Um, I suggest that you check them out. They are a reseller, but they have reasonable prices. And um, they have stuff that just, I mean, that I don't see every day. If I walk into Foot Locker, I see 14s on the wall. I see Futures on the wall. I see Superfly 2s on the wall. But I don't see these. This is an old school face box. Um, this, this, is my, this is my youth right here. This is my high school days. And um, this is a shoe that I used to own. I had this colorway along with a black and silver colorway and uh, these were actually stolen from me when I used to live in a pickup truck. Uh, somebody got into the truck, they stole a bunch of my kicks and they left my Concords. But uh, they took these and um, I finally have them back. So back in the day when I was in high school, even today, I'm like a low top guy. Like that's just what I like. I like low tops. I've always liked low tops. And whenever signatures came out of the new Air Jordan, typically I'd wait for the low top version to come out. That doesn't mean that I didn't like the high top or the mid top version. I totally did. It's just that I preferred low tops. So these guys here, um, like I said, I had two pairs of them. I had the black and silvers and I had these guys. I remember paying 50 bucks originally for these things. Uh, retail was like 120, 125, something like that. Um, I believe the, the high version was 150. So, um, but these things are sick. Um, I just I just love them actually let me get close up so there you go they literally don't make Jordans like this anymore next year they will but um, like that leather is so nice man uh, these things are super comfortable heel and four foot zoom air these look way better than the high tops in my opinion um, they look great on foot too and uh, these things are wearable so I'm super happy I remember playing hella games outside in these and they just couldn't like get beat up uh, they'd be dirty, but they wouldn't get beat up. And he got this gigantic rubber heel cup on there. Um, I tried these on real quick just to make sure that they were wearable and everything. And like this guy right here was like digging right into my, uh, like underneath my ankle bone, that little round thing. And uh, I, man, I literally brought like flashbacks. I used to wear these things all day long and then I'd get home and I'd be like bloody down here because it would like take forever to break these in. So, um... But yeah, so I can't wait to wear these things. Um, I just look, man, is it this way? Shit, I'm looking at a screen, sorry guys. But uh, yeah, real metal tips on there, on the, on the aglets. See that? So I just love these things. Again, Endangered uh, LA, they're great guys over there. Um, like I said, reasonable prices. They have a pair of these that I've really been wanting. Um, since back in the day, it was the, the white with the, the navy, and it's got like a pearly coat just like this, and uh, this, I think, was woven. Um, this section was, was like that, and um, they had them, but I think they were like a size 11 or something like that, and they were literally 150 I was like, what? That's a steal. That's literally original price, and like they had them, they're just not in my size, so whoever wears size 11, you're lucky, um, but yeah, I was just happy to be able to get these guys. So real quick, here they are with the, the regular ones. Um, 
these look ten times better. I'm sorry, but these just these just don't do it. You know what I mean? Like it's this is sick. I really wish that they would come back out with low tops, like for the signatures. Uh, they just I don't know what it is. They just don't do it. Um, I think what it was what was the last one? The fifteen, the sixteen, the seventeen, the eighteen had a low also. The nineteens did too. So did the twenties. Twenty ones had one. 22s had a low top. 23s had a low top. Damn, they all had low tops. Why don't they do low tops anymore? I don't know why. All the low tops are better than the high tops to me. So, um, but yeah, I just I, I love all of the, the the low top versions of the shoes. So uh, these things are just these are. I love these, man. They remind me of being 17. So um, I'm just happy to have them. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Again, first person to name all of the. X-Men characters in that shirt are going to be uh, getting contacted by me. The first person. If there's a whole bunch of people that get them right, whoever the first one was gets this. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And um, until next time, guys, have a good one.